let us come back and do the 2010 paper let us read the question <coughs> explain the following uh, terms that is rate of the reaction and activation energy okay i have done both the videos on this just go to the playlist in the chemical kinetics chapter i think this particular rate of reaction you can watch it in a video on, which is numbered as two and i think yeah, activation energy we have numbered it as 29 so video number 29 so please watch those i have clearly explained the definition i have also given you the information regarding how to write for an activation energy i have also given you the formula for activation energy please go through that video so the for rate of reaction 2 and uh, kind of uh, activation energy is 29 let us read this question decomposition of phosphine okay phosphine ph3 proceeds to according to this equation there is one equation given to us basically and they have given us now because this is the first order rate equation, they said the rate depends upon only one concentration term that is this is what they've given us they also mentioned uh, they've also given us the t half of that half-life period of this particular reaction what should i find out i have to find out how much time is required for three-fourth of phosphine to decompose okay so they've given this particular data what should i find out i have to find out the time correct how much for three-fourth of the decomposition now, as soon as such question is given to you see whether it is first order reaction second order or zero order so as we know rate depends upon only one concentration so term so it is first order reaction so write the formula so given data in that so I just mentioned uh, note this a is equal to one basically a minus x is given to us because the how much time to decompose the leftover right so 1 minus 3 fourth this is 1 by fourth part is given to me what else is given t half is given to me 37.93 right um, yeah what should I find out I have to find out t now write the formula k is equal to s 2.303 by uh, your uh, t log a by a minus x yes this is what we have learnt already now substitute in the formula so what do we have what should i find out i have to find out t isn't it take this t out what do i get i get t is equal to 2.303 by k log of what is a so 1 isn't it so 1 divided by 1 by 4a isn't it yes done now what is k value is k value given in this form uh, uh, numerical not given isn't it so but i very well know we very well know k is equal to 0.693 by t half yes or no we know this formula for the half life period so substitute that formula here 0 0.693 by t half what is t half given to me 37.93 so i can write the same as t is equal to 2.303 by 0 0.693 divided by 37.93 log now when i solve this this becomes this and this gets cancelled so this becomes log 4 correct so you can just find solve this uh, whole thing log 6 has 0 0.60 something some value substitute the whole thing you'll finally get an answer of 75.823 seconds this is your answer so your t half uh, we have already got <coughs> right so this is your answer please solve it let us come back and see with data given to me write the formula which is because I have written this because they have already told me it is first order rate equation. In that first order rate equation, I should find out a minus x. Why should I find out a minus x? Because they have uh, said how much time is required for three fourth of decomposition. Correct. So the leftover part I have to find out isn't it a minus x. So a I have considered as one because the total if we consider as one, one minus of one minus three fourth. So I have got this answer one fourth. And after that, I have substituted the values in this. Finally, I have got the answer. Let us do the next question of your 2010 paper. This is basically your choice question. The question which I have done was the first question where it had uh, two subparts. Let us do this question. So let us read, explain order of a reaction, molecularity of a reaction. So basically, I have already done a video on this. I have also named the video. This is under, go to the playlist of chemical kinetics. Under that playlist, watch the video number nine. You have the order of the reaction. I also gave an example how to calculate order of a reaction. Right. When we come to molecularity of a reaction, I also did. I picked up types of molecular like unimolecular, bimolecular, thermolecular reactions also. Please go to that video which is numbered as 14 in chemical kinetics playlist. 
let us come back this question also the rate of the reaction increases four times when temperature changes from 300 kelvin to 320 kelvin okay calculate activation energy assuming it does not change with temperature okay i've done this question also the same question just again as i said please go to the chemical kinetics playlist in that playlist you have a video which is labeled as video number 31 right please go through that clear explanation is given in that video so we are done with 2010 let me meet again for the next so the question that is your next year that is 2000